Okay, thanks so much, Alistair. So, um, yeah, today um, we're going to talk about how we can optimize tax advantages uh, using commercial property investment. So here's some ideas. Um, firstly, uh, we can claim depreciation on commercial buildings, but not for residential property. Say you've got like a commercial property with a cost of 600,000. This means that you can have 12,000 of tax de deduction and resulting in tax, saving, tax savings of around 4,000. Um, secondly, um, there's no application of the bright line test the uh, uh, residential land withholding tax and ring fencing of tax losses um, for commercial properties, uh, whereas they can apply for residential property. And thirdly, um, renting out a commercial property is a GST taxable activity in New Zealand. So landlords can, um, who, can, uh, who are GST registered um, can claim uh, GST ex uh, on expenses and apply um, zero rating on land transaction, provided certain criteria are met. And lastly, we'll go, we'll go through some um, non-tax considerations when you purchase a commercial property. So before I delve, dive in further, uh, um, I'd like to share how I cross paths with um, commercial property. So I grew up in a household where my family talked about issues they are having with their uh, commercial and residential property investment. A majority of their investment are in commercial, so many of the issues we face were quite critical and intense. So as you can imagine, um, issues arose every now and then, uh, whether it's disputes with tenant, um, unpaid rent invoices, negotiate lease terms with a new tenant, uh, working with real estate agent and to rent out space, as soon, rent out space, as soon, sorry, rent out space out as soon as possible, and many more. So not only did I observe how my family resolved the issues, um, I helped them with managing um, the commercial and residential property portfolio um, after graduating from uni uh, with a Bachelor of Commerce conjoint with a Bachelor of Property degree and, uh, and a Master of Taxation Studies. Some work I assisted uh, were settling disputes when, with tenants and negotiating um, uh, the new leases with the tenant, writing uh, letters to the tenant on, like I was the legal rep um, on behalf of the landlords, uh, managing seismic strengthening projects and so on. So over the last 10 years, um, I observed and learned how issues were addressed, um, how risks were minimized and gained uh, wealth of um, a commercial and residential property consulting experience. Um, I think one of the secrets to success in commercial property investment is to know how to minimize risks um, and be able to address tenancy issues so you can fetch a decent um, return on investment like you're riding a wave. So if you do you know, want to know more how you can minimize risks, uh, do talk to Alistair, Robin, Jared and myself um, and, and see how we can help you. So given my commercial property invest, uh, experience, the first property I purchased uh, was actually a commercial property in Newmarket, um, which is, I know, quite different to the norm where people usually go for the, the residential. Um, and it turned out to be a, a cash flow making machine. And I repaid my mortgage within two years and uh, purchased another residential property a couple of years later. Um, if you're not sure, you know, whether you should buy a commercial or residential property as your first, in, first investment, um, talk to Blandon because he, he knows his stuff and with mortgages and the strategy on how, how it's best suited in your circumstances. So while investing in both residential and commercial properties, um, I worked as a full-time tax consultant um, at Big Four, Mid-Tier and small chartered accountant firm. Um, I lectured tax in universities in Auckland and helped my, helped my family with their residential and commercial property investment. Um, I'm a chartered accountant and I started my own firm earlier this year. Uh, we're a one-stop chartered accountant firm specializing in property tax and consulting. Um, cross-border taxation on migrants, IRD disputes and resolution and small-medium enterprise tax. Uh, 
We work a lot with uh, property investors, developers, uh, SMEs and, and migrants. So now let's dive into how we can opt optimize tax advantages uh, with commercial properties.